in comparison to the Arteza. What? Golden. Arteza. How? Hello. We are back to our Arteza review. I'm not sure if it's Arteza or Arteza, but it's spelled like that. This company makes art supplies and has their own website and I will have affiliate links down below to their products as well as to their website. So they sent me some products. They sent me a pack of eight canvases. This is the label off of that, 11 by 14. They look like this. They're nice, decent canvases. They are stapled on the back, but they aren't what I would consider gallery wrapped. But back stapling versus side stapling is certainly uh, preferential. So these look like nice canvases not too the canvas is not too thick so like not the best quality but certainly seems sturdy enough to handle what i'm trying to do on them they also sent me a pack of acrylics in this nice box and i haven't opened them up yet but i'm going to here in a second here is our box of acrylics it is labeled on the side arteza Arteza, Arteza, ugh. 24 acrylic colors, premium. There are 24 tubes, 22 milliliters per tube. And they come in really nice trays to keep them organized. I like that. It looks like at first glance, we have um, some cool blues and some warm blues. Ultramarine blue is a blue that I use a lot that is on the purplish side, so it's a cool blue. Um, and then we have a phthalo blue and a violet that look like they're more towards the red. Prussian blue maybe too. Crimson red is gonna be our warmer red, but then rose looks like it's a cooler red. And then that looks like that, then, then it goes to burnt sienna, which I consider a brown. And then you have some oranges. So the red seems a little limited. That's okay, because I don't use a lot of red anyway. I do use a magenta. I don't see a magenta unless this rose acts as a magenta. We might have to test that out because I would definitely miss a magenta in this color palette. Uh, then we have a cool yellow. This lemon yellow is a cool yellow. Um, mid yellow might be our primary. And then yellow ochre obviously is a warm yellow. Over here, you have pale green, which is your warm green. Emerald green, thalo green would be your cool greens. Thalo more than emerald, I guess. It's interesting that this thalo blue, the label makes it seem like it's gonna be a warm blue. It almost looks purple, but my thalo blue for golden acrylics is, is a greenish blue, almost like a sky blue, like a cyan. So that be, I'll be curious about that. I might have to compare those as well. So this is definitely a larger color palette than I'm used to working with, so that's exciting. But um, the size of the tubes is a little small. Let's talk price comparison with my golden acrylics. These Arteza paints are on their website for $20.49 for 24 tubes. Golden has three different lines. They have the fluid line, which is what I use, uh, but they also have heavy body line, which acts more like these probably will, a thicker, more viscous paint. And then they have an open line, which uh, dry slower like oils and are also a little more heavy bodied. So they're heavy bodied and they're open acrylics, which are in tubes like this. There's only six tubes in theirs and but they are the same size tube. They sell for $23.44. That equals about 18 cents per milliliter, whereas these average out to be four cents per milliliter. So these are significantly cheaper. Their 30 milliliter introductory 10 tube set of the fluid line is 
and that averages out to 15 cents per milliliter, again, versus this 4 cents per milliliter. So this is definitely the more, more affordable way to go. The question is, are we losing quality with the more affordability? And that's what I'm going to check out next. Side by side comparison, we have our Arteza paints here. We have our golden fluid paints here. I do want to remind you that this is a less viscous formula on purpose, so it will look thinner, but the pigment load is supposed to be the same as in you wouldn't be able to thin a thicker paint with water or another medium and get as vibrant of colors as their fluid line is already at a thinner thinner texture, but still more pigment. So, side by side, we have our Mars Black in the Arteza line, and this was my golden carbon black here. Um, right now it's still drying, but I do feel like the carbon black wins out, although the pigments are very similar as I scraped that thinner. And maybe I just scraped it more. I think I did scrape it more. So the pigments are, are both nice. But it is a nice, it's not too viscous. It's, it's thin already coming out of the tube, which is nice. All right, so that's the black. Next we have um, <clears throat> both the rose and the violet in the Arteza line, I'm trying to find something that will compare with my quinacridone magenta, which I've used in a lot of paintings. I just bought this primary magenta as well. So this is my, this is my long friend quinacridone magenta, which I've used in a lot of paints. But I just bought primary magenta because I had a naphthol red that I've tried using in paintings and it's ruined every single one. I just don't like that red. Um, so I'm trying to find something that is still on the cool side, but not, I think the naphthol was actually on the warm side. Well, I knew it was, but it was too warm. It was just messing up everything. It was almost orange. So I got this primary magenta, which I think is gonna be a better primary color than the naphthol red was. It was too warm to be my primary red. So primary magenta is gonna now be my red, which I had been using quinacridone magenta, but it's a little too in your face vibrant. So I'm hoping that this will be better. So side by side, this is the first time I've really gotten it out of the tube and looked at it and I do like it, it's pleasing. But man, isn't that pretty? Isn't that rose a beautiful pink? It, it is nothing like the label on the tube though, right? What a poor representation of what is actually in the tube. It's a nice vibrant pink. Um, uh, probably closer to my Quidacridon magenta, um, which is good because that's what I was looking for. I was hoping that one of these would be that, and it is. So the violet was not, but hey, I didn't have a good purple in my current palette with the golden. Golden does have a uh, dioxazine purple and an ultramarine purple that I've not tried, just because I was trying to get away with as few colors as possible to mix my own, but this is a really beautiful violet. I like it a lot. Phthalo blue, which again, I was curious because the label makes it look quite purple but I knew my phthalo blue to be more of a, a cool, no, sorry, a warm, a warm purple, more of a greenish purple. And that is this right here. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised when I put them out on the same paper that they are, they're the same pigment. So again, the label on this tube is misrepresentative of the paint inside. And I would suggest as an artist that you just get in the habit of if you are dealing with a printed label that you make your own palette to reference. And Golden is really good about, they actually print, sorry, they don't print, they, 
they paint a swatch of the paint on the label rather than trying to find a printer that can match the pigment because it's never going to be accurate. So they actually, they actually paint on every label by hand. Arteza does not, but they're cut and cost for you, the consumer, and they have the same pigment. Is it the same pigment load? I don't know, but the colors are the same as far as the name that they have gone with. Thalo Green, same thing. I was worried. This Thalo Green on their label almost looks like an olive color uh, versus this vibrant emerald green, bluish green. Um, but it ended up again being the same hue. So we are in good shape there. I'm happy so far. Over here on the black paper, I have tried also the titanium white and they're white and it looks pretty heavy in the pigment load. So I'm happy with that too. Um, as I try to thin it out versus this, sorry, it was already drying a little bit. I don't know, they're, they hold up. So at first glance, these do not seem like thinned down washi paints to me. These Arteza paints are pretty impressive for the price. I like them a lot. Well, we'll just have to see how they mix up for acrylic pouring, right? I think we will do a couple of test pours with the titanium white, the rose, and the phthalo blue versus the titanium white the quinacridone magenta, and the thalo blue. On to the paint mixing. Okay, so normally I mix my paints in large quantities. This is my container for thalo blue. This is my container for black. It's a gallon jug. Um, that's where I'm at with the quantity of black and white that I make gallon to a half gallon at a time because I coat those really large canvases with either black or white. So I have to have large quantities of black or white. Um, my recipe, as I've shown before, is just a ratio. So there you see it. I start with two parts flood Floetrol, which is this product right here and I strain it and I have already strained some right here it's I just pour it through one of these paint strainers and make sure that there's not any bits of trash in it because I have had that happen in the past so I started making that a part of my practice then uh, three parts of the GAC 800 which is definitely my most expensive ingredient and this is it right here. A lot of people ask me why I insist on using it. It gives a glossier finish to my paintings, it reduces crazing, and it just makes for a really smooth, flowy paint. It also makes it more adhesive. Like it, this really has a lot of binder in it, like a lot. Like I get it on my fingers and I can't wash it off. It's crazy. Golden brand has come out with a couple of other matte pouring medium and a gloss pouring medium, but I, I price checked them and right now they're the exact same price per ounce as the GAC 800 and I know this works. And at some point I'm gonna buy some and do like a side-by-side -side comparison, but I called them and talked to them and it's really pretty much the same thing right now. They're still working on the formula, quote unquote, according to the technician that I talked to. So right now I'm still gonna just stick with my GAC 800. So for mixing my Arteza paints today to compare with those, uh, as scientifically as possible, I'm gonna stick with this ratio. But I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna make these giant batches for one thing because I just don't have that much paint. These are just little sample tubes.
the exact same ratio of paint to the exact same mediums. So the only thing different is the paint brand. I'm gonna use the same brand of canvas. I'm gonna use the same quantity of paint, the same quantity of medium, the same exact brands of medium, because Arteza doesn't actually offer their own pouring medium, so I'm using what I normally use. And <laughs> Same thing with the golden, coating the canvas with the white. All right, so we have rose, thalo blue, quinacridone magenta, thalo blue, golden, arteza, and I dripped, oops. Okay. So we'll start with a stripe down the middle. Maybe one more stripe up here. And And we'll go over there. It is what it is. All right, let's swipe. Y'all know I like to swipe from the middle. And I like to let it drip, if it will. Drip, 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 drip. We'll let that settle. Can't remember which way I went first. I guess I went up first. Y'all know I like to swipe, swipe in the middle. See, I'm even trying to say the same thing both times. These colors definitely seem more vibrant. Like the white cannot compete on this side with those colors. Which makes me think the pigment load is stronger with this one. But we'll see. Drip, 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 drip. Didn't mean for this to look so patriotic. to tilt. This one's so slippery. Is it the paint that is more slippery? It's crazy. This one is so slippy. Um, and it feels like it's the paint consistency. It's just... 
different. I don't know why that would be though. Whoa, that's weird. This is my golden? I've never seen it do that before. That is strange. Well, curiouser and curiouser. All right, I tried to tilt them in the exact same way for the exact same time as well. Okay, that was the experiment. Now I'm gonna set them aside and make. All right, experiment number two, we're gonna start with a magenta as our background because I am running low on the white. So we'll just go with another one as our background color. sorts with um, some white and what's left in my cup of the phthalo blue and some of the rose as well as some of the magenta over there but not all of it <clears throat> and then we'll try to do the same on the other side maybe I'll do a bit of a flip cup just cause. So. All right, there's that. And maybe I'll just let it sit there while I do the other one. Why not? For consistency's sake, right? So I need white in my cup to start. And then it was what's left of the blue. Thalo blue. And some of the magenta, but not all of it. Thing. That was not as smooth of a flip. There we go. Okay. Now we'll go back over there.
You might be hearing a ruckus in the background. There is a dance recital going on here in our auditorium just down the hall. And my classroom right across the hallway is the bathroom and they're going in and out. I got a million, got a million little girls changing into their costumes outside my classroom. I've got a big chunk of trash. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. I don't like this, but I'm not gonna mess with it because I want it to be true to the experiment that I tilted that one the same way I tilted this one. I think there was a lot more paint on this one. It was definitely more flowy, but that might just be the formula of the paint being more flowy. So we'll leave it and we'll come back after they dry and look at them and we'll analyze our results. Right now, I gotta say, I feel like Arteza is winning. So this is the first Arteza swipe, and I'm really digging the cells. The colors did not mix too much, and I got some really nice cellular patterns. This looks, I would, I would say that this looks like one of my swipes, like it's behaving like it ought to. And then there's some really nice big ones. Those are the drips that I did that I then let go with the tilt. But that's lovely. I especially like that. At first I thought this was going to look like an American flag and I wasn't really wanting it to. Um, and it doesn't now. It's just, it's a lovely pink and blue and white. Not my normal color scheme, but I was just trying to go with colors that would compare. So let's look at the golden swipe. So this is the golden swipe. And I'm shocked at how the white disappeared. I'm not used to it doing that. And I mean, it, it did almost immediately if you go back and watch that footage. Um, the colors just really seem to almost bleed through the white like ink, and I don't remember ex experiencing that before. But again, the specific gravity uh, chart that Golden shares, which is a very nice resource to have, and Arteza does not supply that, shows that titanium white is one of their densest pigments, and it does usually sink to the bottom, which is why I usually used it as a swipe. I just couldn't believe how it sunk this time. It almost made me wonder if I didn't shake the paint up well enough, but uh, <clears throat> there you have it. That is the golden versus the Arteza. Arteza, golden, golden, Arteza. Same exact color, same exact arrangement, same exact amounts and technique, completely different. This is lovely. Um, this is the Arteza again. This is the flip cup. And I'm shocked at how well it held together and how it outperformed my golden flip cup. But I've never really been good at flip cups. And I'm starting to think maybe it might have been my recipe just was too thin for a flip cup because this is gorgeous. Uh, I can't wait to see how it develops as it dries. Wow, look at those. That's so cool. Oh, man. 
Again, no silicone in my recipe, but I get the cells just from the flow trawl and then also just the density of one falling through the other. But this is, this is really lovely. I love it. I'm very happy with the Arteza results. And here's my golden flip cup. It is a runny mess. There's a lot of snags and ripples, and I hate ripples. There was a big piece of trash in it too that uh, must have come from one of my bottles. Maybe there was some paint that was partially dried that got washed out with it. That was unfortunate. Um, so, I, I mean, this is pretty trippy and psychedelic up close, but compositionally it's not attractive in comparison to the Arteza. What? Golden. Arteza. How? Price point, Arteza is winning. And performance, it's winning too. Colors are really comparable as well. I, there's not a big difference in the two colors. We'll see how, how they compare when they're dried. think in the comments like and subscribe click the bell icon in order to get more notifications and don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharart.com bye